Greetings, Imperial citizens! This is Dennis Anderson with this breaking Vox Bulletin. After years of brutal civil war costing the lives of millions of Imperial citizens, former Governor Sumalis of Corumpere V has finally agreed to step down to end the bloodshed. He addressed the crowd from his palatial underground bunker. So that peace and prosperity may return, I gracefully bow to the will of the people. Ah, I'd kill everyone on this planet if I could. I can't believe I have to capitulate to these gurok's humping lowborns. Hm? What? What do you mean the Vox is hot? Spontaneous celebrations erupted across Corum Pere 5. We reached out to the local administrator of the subsector for comment. Look, I don't give two dead Kriegsmen about the place as long as they're paying their tithes. Hey, what is that thing you got there? Are you recording this? Out of sheer enthusiasm, the mob of unwashed menials has elevated a local slave Ogren named Gurg to the illustrious position of planetary governor. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm being told that his name is actually Greg. We reached out to the new administration for comment. Um, I don't really know what's going on, uh, but they said I couldn't have anything I wanted. Uh, so I got this big bowl of pickles. Hmm. Despite the continuing violence as militias battle against the retinues of the few remaining nobles who supported Governor Sumalis, the economy of Corum Pere is skyrocketing. Apparently, with 90% of the planet's economic output no longer being used to fund the governor's financial initiative, Gimme, It's Mine, All Mine, it has helped spur growth in all sectors. Reaching out to Governor Greg for further comment, he had this to say. Um, that sounds good, I think. Skyrockets are good, right? That's how we get to the big black thing in the sky with all the little lights. Despite overwhelming popular support, Governor Greg is already facing challenges. That job is really hard. Sometimes I can't find my puppy when I want to pet him. And sometimes oh, oh, I eat too many pickles. These terror-shattering revelations have caused Greg to take a small hit in the polls mostly due to concerns by Corumpere pickle producers who object to the claim that anyone could eat too many pickles. We will keep you updated as this story develops. Until next time, I'm Dennis Anderson. May the Emperor watch over you.